Okay, so here we are in this spruce bog, mostly Engelmann spruce, tamarack, some cottonwoods. It's actually kind of a diverse habitat. So many of you know we've had the camera up now for a couple months, I believe, and we've been monitoring, you know, the incubation period and the nestling growth. So we're trying to time it so we can go up here in, in one trip and ban both of the chicks and see what goes on, and if possible, um, capture an adult. Yeah. Flip, uh... Reach over, reach over your left and pull that. Yeah, just flip it. See if it'll flip. You want to put it right down in here? And then all of a sudden she just started, she went and she pooped and she came right in. So Lib, with your right hand, can you hold him a little bit? And let me put the hat over him, Beth. He's calmed him down a bit. She'll eventually roll this flange over and the bird won't be able to come. Uh, Lib, I'm going to give you this bird. Right hand up on the leg, stay high on the leg. Left hand, stay high on the leg. When you're ready, Rob. Okay. And probably live right around, yeah, to your left, right about where your foot is, right there. But let me just try to walk it up. Let me just, let me lift her up here. I'm gonna go slow, I don't want to knock the snag over. Yeah, that's right. Look at the size of those legs. Hey buddy, you right? Uh, sure, if it works. Sounds fine. Yeah, right there. Got him? Yeah. Oh. Okay, thanks, Lib. Hey, hey, easy, easy. Easy, and we'll both be better off. So we were able to ban the mail, take the measurement data. We thought the mail would be the harder one to get. Um, so we just really lucked out on that and then the female will try again. We climbed up in the nest tree and it's kind of interesting that you have such a diversity of trees in here and these are cottonwoods and there's not a lot of areas where great grays nest in broken top cottonwoods. Uh, the reasons are hard to say but here's where the kind of the boreal forest of this region comes down and meets kind of the temperate forest so we've got a mix a nice diversity of trees in here so these cottonwoods they kind of die early they, they snap off pretty readily and um, those are the cavities unfortunately or the, the nest platforms unfortunately they also fall over real easily so when we were climbing just now it was, it was, it was a little scary you know I, mean, I won't say scary it was just like hope that it doesn't fall over so so anyway this is the habitat and uh, we'll come back in here soon and um, try to get the female. And then now, once we get them all marked over the course of years, and we're still learning here in the Great Great Project, but over the course of years, we'll be able to tell you, does the male return to the area? Does the female return to the area? Does the pair stay together? Maybe some information on dispersal of the young. Do they survive? Do they move a mile away or five miles away, find another mate? And so marking them is an important part of just the research.